In this third introductory tutorial on the video intro room, which is brand new for users of PowerDirector 365, we'd like to show you some of the things that you can do once you have placed the video intro that you edited from one of the templates on your timeline. Because I find some of the editing capabilities are somewhat limited and I'd like to expand on them or change some things. Let's see what we can do. What I have here is a an example of something we worked at on the first two tutorials. So when I play it, now I like some of this and some of it I don't like. I want to change it. So what I'm going to do is move back to this place where we have the text available on the screen. And I have the word yummy coming up and I want to change that and I have this little pip object here that's animated. I want to make it bigger, but I don't want it in front of the letters. So I have this element called CPIP on track number eight. What I'd like to do is move it so it's behind the text, but in front of the yellow and white screen. So I have to figure out where I want to go. If I look here, I have an EPIP, so it has to be in front of that, so it'll be higher than track number three. I'll right click and then I'll do add track and then I want a video track above track four. And I'll click on zero here because that's all I need. Click on OK. So now I want it on new track number four. So I'll take that and click on it, drag it up. And here we have it. Now it should show up, when I look at the preview, it should show up behind the text. Let's try that. Okay, in this case it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I did get it behind the text, which was the principle I wanted you to see. And so if you want to change other elements, let's take this yummy, this text here, and find the track that it belongs to. Here's my yummy text. And let's say I want to change the in and out, but I also want to change some other elements that I couldn't change before using the video intro designer. Maybe I want to make, instead of a uniform color, maybe I want a gradient color of that. So we'll, we'll start with a start color of orange and click on OK and we'll make the other color at the other end of it instead of white, maybe a pink. Click on OK. And now maybe I want to change the animation. I can change the in animation as I could before. In the other editor, we'll just do amplify horizontal. Go back to object and there's a lot of other things I can now change on the text that I couldn't change before I dropped it to the timeline. I can use a title reveal mask. I can use some special effects. Uh, let's click on this and just make it uh, fire. All right, click on that one. And there we go. So all kinds of modifications we can make with the more elaborate tools available in the title designer when we use it here once it's on the track. I'll click on OK for that. And likewise, you can take anything else that you have used in your template that you've modified and dropped to your timeline to modify anything you see in the video clips, in the graphic images, anything else. So this is a secondary level of editing that's available for you by using all these tools once it's been placed here on your timeline. Now it won't necessarily save this as a template with all these modifications, but you can move forward on your particular project that you've used the intro editor on in order to make a different kind of intro available. And so that's a recommendation on some things you can do once you've placed it in your timeline and are ready to move forward in any particular project. I hope you find that helpful.